folks, and welcome to another episode of Off the Floor. Uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button down below and that notification bell. Uh, so today we're here with local musician Michael Deacon. Hello. Who's uh, born and raised in Vancouver. Born in Regina, raised in Vancouver. Yeah. And um, where are you from originally? My parents are from Romania. Okay. And, uh, I always kind of say that I'm a Romanian teabag steeped in Canadian water. Okay. That's the best way to kind of describe <laughs> uh, where I'm from and where I'm at now. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, how, how long have you been playing music? Uh, I've been playing music since I, I think the age that I kind of go with, which may be right or wrong, it's around 16. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, I, watched, so. I watched the movie La Bamba with Richie Valens. Nice. And then I was like, I need to learn to play guitar. <laughs> and luckily I had my brother there. He studied music and he was around the house with lots of instruments and stuff. So he kind of got me going. Nice. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's great. Is your whole family musical? My mom doesn't think she is, but but she's she's got a nice kind of like sweet voice for singing those kind of Romanian songs. And I think generally kind of got a good kind of creative family. But musically specifically, my brother is kind of like he started off with like being serious into music. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah. Love to get your mom and your brother on the show. Yeah, right. <laughs> do, do, do some Romanian tunes. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this instrument uh, that you're playing, what uh, well, what is this? It's a charango, so okay. or as I like to call it, a ukulele ten thousand. Nice. Is or it is it Romanian? Yeah. It's it's actually from the Bolivia area of South America. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in South America, before Europeans came, there were not stringed instruments. There was just flutes and those kind of like Andes flutes that you hear. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So the stringed instruments came when Europeans came, and they had their vihuelas, which were like early guitar ancestors and the indigenous people there made a charango kind of based off of that influence and it's got this kind of fun shape to it mm -hmm. and this used to be made out of armadillo shells originally and they made it small and cute like this so they could sneak it under their ponchos because the people there apparently didn't want them kind of practicing their music and their kind of like culture really? and stuff like that. Oh yeah. yeah, I guess colonialism they wanted to yeah. you know, squash the culture. Own it all, yeah. Damn, well. But this beautiful instrument came came from that and uh, yeah, on Charango Mall is where I got this and it's based in Bolivia and they have everything. It's just like it is in the pictures and plugs in. It's freaking sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. And it plays just like a ukulele. Yeah, it's got, a, it's double strings. So you got the G, C, E, A. Just like a ukulele, but then okay. the extra E string, and they're all doubled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Sweet, I might pick one of those up. Yeah, you should, yeah, they're great. Yeah. Yeah. Start with buying a pet armadillo. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
shaped like you Weaving a thread in time Looking around in the places you'll go Though there's nothing more you can find You shaped like love Smiling from deep inside Then without an answer you jump into faith And you're free like a child So that song is called Love Shaped Like You and uh, that one was actually inspired by a dream that I had and in the dream there was these clouds in the sky and they were like holding the moon. They were actually shaped like that statue over there, kind of like kind of like Roman style kind of clouds and they were holding up the moon and passing it to each other and I was standing on a deck with like my best friend and we were kind of watching it and originally the lyrics were a little bit different but I used kind of that imagery to kind of paint this picture and it's kind of like, yeah, just a little bit about the spirituality of being human so michael uh tell us what does music mean to you oh man that's a big big question <laughs> <laughs> yeah you ask everyone this what does music mean to me it means so much it's 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 uh, something i look at as far as like my identity there's a lot of my kind of like identity is kind of like rooted in music mm -hmm. so it's a great kind of like way to see like okay like oh man like trying to like loosen that you know like trying to loosen identity and also still pursuing it so it's a really kind of like thin edge sword for me mm -hmm. of like loving to do it and just feeling very in tune with myself and like what i'm called to do when i'm playing and when i'm singing and using my voice but then also like oh am i doing enough am i good enough and all this so like music means a lot to me in that sense but also just um yeah listening to music of course and just kind of the journeys it can take you on yeah that's obviously yeah. like an, another part of it too yeah, the, the healing and uh, the, es the escape for sure. Yeah. 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 Alright, the song is called The Flame. The sun has shone so bright. Everything went so right. Could it be? Gently in the sea 
It's there a little bit longer than the gold turns into history. So can I hold you a little bit closer when the sky is getting colder? Leaning on my shoulder See the stars in your eyes The silver of our dreams But the light beyond the sky it shines Like blazing jewels within your eyes And the flame beyond the world is yours Warmth and light and love forever Warmth and light and love forever Warmth and light So I can almost hear like uh, like a Simon and Garfunkel in some of some of your stuff. Like, tell us about some of your inspirations. Yeah. Uh, some of the musicians that inspired you. Like, I went through a phase in the in the early years of kind of starting music where it was like reggae, Bob Marley for like years and years and years. Oh, you got Bob. Yeah, Bob, Bob, Bob you back. There. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> He's and, always got your back. Right? Yeah, totally. So I think like that kind of like original inspiration for kind of like letting the voice out and just being passionate with what I'm doing. But I think generally, like, my rule of thumb is, like, older, older music, like Simon and Garfunkel, that mm. kind of, like, older vibe, mm -hmm. kind of classic feel. Yeah, that totally shines through in your yeah, songwriting, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. So this one is called Something Somewhere. It's got a very vague name, but, uh, yeah, it's about, it's about difficult times. And it, it, uh, it kind of specifies itself as it goes on. But, yeah, it, uh, it's, uh, it was kind of the anthem I was playing in my head. While I was having a really tough time away in Romania, we were doing some some paperwork and uh, didn't know when I was going to be back. And uh, it was playing in my head, and then I kind of reworked the lyrics and uh, made it this song. So, hope you enjoy. I'm trying to catch my joy. It's out there. In Flying here and there, I'll go anywhere to find a place for hearts, a home where they can mend. I'll check this crowded room, maybe this time find a friend. It's like I'm trying to get the sun to shine. my fate I try but I can't relate I get tied up inside Wait. 
lay down low I know this rain is spell Some say welcome home But I'm climbing up the well And the rain is falling And I'm standing on my own Oh, looking up at the sky Every path we walk is straight And not every journey is in the light of day But maybe there's answers that our eyes can't see And something sure and mystery Like you, you feel the wind move but you can't show and tell segment here on Off the Floor. Uh, what, you, what you got here, Mike? This is a Native American triple triple flute. It's a drone flute, and it's got three flutes in one. What? And uh, yeah, they harmonize with each other. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of speaking of Simon and Garfunkel, my brother and I, we have a side project called Cosmic Mansions, okay. where we do music featuring these flutes and the charango mixed together, and it's kind of a little bit more meditative and somewhat more instrumental. But we're actually doing a cover of... Uh, Sound of Silence on there. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's just a shout out to Cosmic Mansions, but... Uh, nice, yeah. I'll, I'll put a link in the description yeah, below. Yeah, and this flute has a beautiful sound, so I'll just kind of yeah. give it a... Yeah, a little, give, give it a little whirl. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. We'll, we'll, we'll have to get your uh, side project on here next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, you got certainly have a diverse range of uh, instruments. Yes. And um, what got you is so interested in like all these South American instruments? Uh, <laughs> truly, I think that was pretty well coincided with around the same time I did first ayahuasca ceremony. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that, that makes I, sense. I think I yeah. read that. The story is kind of like a classic <laughs> one, right? Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, and that was a huge kind of uh, takeaway from that. I mean, the culture of The that, culture and um, the sounds and the different, that, just that kind of vibration. And yeah, was, like starting yeah. to hear the music that's like recorded kind of like around that ceremonial kind of music. Mm -hmm. and seeing the charango and just kind of like, yeah, this was a game changer for me just getting to play with this extra guy, this new instrument here. Yeah, that thing's great. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. This one I think is my most recent song and I kind of like banged it out in about five hours, just had a lot of emotion about 
figuring out that uh, sometimes you got to walk away from the women that you really like. <laughs> so, oh, that's, that's a tough one. Yeah, right? So that's, that's what this one's about, and it's, uh, it's called High Tower. doing in the next three to six months? Mm, I'm working on getting getting my latest original songs together and I'm gonna record them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and okay. just kind of get those get those out there and I gotta figure out a way to kind of get myself promoted. Okay, or, well, hopefully this helps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hopefully it'll help, yeah, but I feel like that's kind of like a block for me. Like I just love playing and mm -hmm. kind of writing and doing that kind of thing. And then I think like getting out there is a little bit like more of like a, uh, I don't feel like doing that, so I think some just kind of diving into that a little bit more is going to be important. yeah, all the all the admin stuff yeah, yeah that um, yeah, <laughs> it sucks the creative soul out of you almost right yeah, you know yeah. having to go on Facebook and yeah. make all these posts yeah and, yeah, yeah you know you, we just want to create yeah and I'm um, also trying to uh, to get a, into the Harmony Arts Festival at, uh, oh nice, nice yeah nice. so I'm gonna I'm gonna set up my application for that and uh, mm -hmm. yeah great yeah. yeah. 
Um, speaking of creating, uh, what, um, like, how do you write your songs? Like, tell us a bit about your process. Yeah, it's been shifting over the years, but like some of the songs, like one of the songs I played was uh, just basically like from a dream. Sometimes I have a dream and then mm. I kind of use that imagery from the dream for a song or there's this feeling or a theme like letting go or something like that or some sort of theme that's kind of pertinent in my mind and I like to kind of just know what the theme is and then kind of weave a story around that using kind of metaphors that I find kind of like uh, amplify that that just general theme a little bit yeah sometimes I just have like a phrase stuck in my head and I'll work from that and just kind of like build off of that sweet yeah that's 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 awesome yeah so like really your goal is to be like a a storyteller something like that yeah Yeah. nice through song great uh, this song is called River Inside, and I had, a, had an idea a long time about writing a song about crying and had a notebook with rain on it, and it was all about tears, and this was like five years ago or something, and uh, the song never came, and then I did some journaling, and some metaphors came, and, uh, and then the song, the lyrics came to be, so the song is called River Inside. It's a crying song. I cried and I, I cried, I 
absolutely amazing to have you on the show. Uh, but before we go, can you tell us where we can find you on social media or links to your music online or yeah. anything? Yeah, so um, Instagram, I'm Michael Deacon Music. Mm -hmm. That's D E A C O N. Links in the description below. Yeah. And then Spotify, same thing, Michael Deacon. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, sweet, yeah, so that's where you can find this uh, amazing musician. And uh, it was great to have you on the show. Thank you, man. All right. Appreciate it. Cheers. Yeah.